Okay, we are back. This is part two of assignment two, and we are looking at this base converter program here, and we're, we're, we've just gone through examining the source for this document, and our job is to add a set of buttons here. Uh, to have hex make this a little bit bigger, basically make something that looks like this. This is a fully functioning version. So if we were to add uh, 125, we can convert to binary and we can convert to hex and back. So that's what we're trying to do. We're going to add the green here. So uh, let's continue where we left off and we have just finished going over all of the source here and our particular version here looks like this and so what we're going to do now is is we're going to add another radio button here and we're going to add some more uh, buttons here and expand this out to uh, so it's got a so it's a full hexadecimal key pad okay let's go up here uh, let's gonna I'm gonna add one more radio button here so this is I'm gonna copy copy and paste and I'm gonna make this say hex I'm just going to say hex, make it short. I'm going to call this hex radio. And uh, I'm going to change this to hexadecimal. So now when I save this and go over here and refresh, now it's got a hexadecimal there. Hmm. I think. I'm gonna just make this say hex. That's fine. That looks better. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna make this this thing bigger. Uh, that would be this. Hmm, I'm gonna make it. 200 uh, it's this here. okay I'm gonna make it 200 pixels wide 200 okay and I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it so small 12 point font uh, I'm going to add some buttons here. I'm going to add, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to go here and paste. And I'll come back later and fill in what the digits are. Paste. Here I will paste. And so that's one, two, three, four, and ooh, I gotta put a put one here. And put a couple more here. And maybe one more. And I'm gonna make this clear button at the bottom also be 200. Alright, I'm going to save this and now let's see what this looks like. Hmm. I need to change this to a 4 because it's now 4 rows per row, 4 columns per row, and now when I refresh this it looks better. Okay, so now I'm going to fix these numbers. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. I'll do it, do it that way. 
and so this is down at the bottom here. This is going to be zero, oops, one, zero, A, B, C, D, E, and F. All right, let me save this. Okay, that's it. So now we just have to make all this work. Let's just make all this work. So, first of all, let's go up. Let's uh, make sure these are calling the right thing. Base convert. That's right. So it's going to be X. These are all calling the right things. Okay, so let's. Decimal to binary, binary to decimal, we need to add a, a decimal to hex. So I'm going to start a new function here, uh, right here, let's say, function oops, uh, decimal to hex. And this number coming in is going to be decimal and uh, let's see. I'm going to declare a variable called hex and I'm going to declare a variable called remainder. And I'm going to declare a variable called decimal, and that's going to be set equal to the number coming in. And now I'm going to uh, loop and append the hex digits left to right so let's start a loop here while uh, decimal is greater than zero I'm going to uh, the remainder is going to equal decimal mod 16 and hex is going to equal now I'm gonna show you a little trick not a trick but in JavaScript how uh, we can take substrings of constants and so let me do this this is the constant and it's all the hex digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a B, C, D, E, F, and I want the substring uh, of whatever the remainder is, that's the digit, that's the uh, hex digit, that's the value, uh, one digit, and that gets appended to the front of this hex digit of the currently hex string, built, built hex string. So, and then I gotta divide by 16. Truncating out the remainder, the integer part. Okay, and uh, that's the end of my while. And I can just uh, return, return hex. So that will loop while 
decimal is greater than zero, each time dividing by 16, taking the remainder, and it's, it's going to be uh, one of these digits, 0 through 15. Uh, it's going to take that digit and append it to the front of the hex string. Okay, that's decimal to hex. And now let's we need we also need a hex to decimal. So let's add that function. Function hex to decimal. And that's going to be a hex number coming in. And that's going to be uh, var decimal. This is the value I'm going to return after I compute it. And I'm also going to have introduce another little variable here, which is going to be a digit. I used to keep track of digits. Next digits. And so I'm just going to do a for loop here for each of the digits. Bar r i equals zero. I is less than the length of the hex digit of the length of hex number I plus plus incrementing and this is going to be I'm going to pop off the digit the I digit one of them. And this is now where I have to actually compute decimally what the digit is. So if digit is greater than or equal to zero, is zero character, and digit is less than or equal to the nine character, then decimal is equal to decimal times 16, shift it left, plus the actual value of the digit. Oops. And if digit is greater than or equal to A, and digit is less than or equal to F, then decimal is equal to decimal times 16 plus now the way we figure out what the ASCII character value is for the digit, you do, you do this, dig dot char code at zero, it's the zero digit minus what it is for a, an A uh, I gotta add 10 to this too because that's just going to give me offset by 10. Okay, so uh, that will figure out what we need to add to this decimal value after it's multiplied by 16 what we need to add what the what the actual remainder actually is that we need to add and so if it's 0 through 9 we simply add that value but if it's a through f we've got to figure out if it's a it's the value 10 if it's b it's the value 11 up to f is the value 15 
Okay, that takes care of that, and I think we're done with that. And uh, when we're done, we simply return a decimal. And that's going to return the decimal value. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to um, let's go down here a little bit. We're going to need to this append digit. We're going to have to add something in there uh, to take care of hexadecimal. So let's we need to add. Um, Binary radio is checked, else if else if hex radio is checked, the base is going to be hex. Okay, and then down here we've got uh, the case of decimal, the case of binary. Let's do the case of let's do the case of hex. Copy paste. Uh, let's do hex. And if if it's this, or D is greater than or equal to A, and D is less than or equal to F, then display, then append on uh, the character that comes in. And uh, of course, anding has operator precedence over oring, which is why this works. So that takes care of the hex case. And what else? Oh, the space conversion. Now, right now, we only have binary to decimal, decimal to binary, but let's we need to add four more cases. Let's see, the first one is. I'm just going to do some copying and pasting here. I think I'm going to copy this and paste it. Oops. So this is binary to decimal, decimal to binary. Actually, I know that I'm going to have to add so, binary to decimal, decimal to binary, and then we're going to do binary to, no, uh, we're going to do hex to decimal, and decimal to hex, and this is going to be hex to, to decimal, and this is going to be decimal to hex. And this is going to be, this is hex to decimal, decimal to hex, and this is binary to hex, and this is hex to binary. Okay, so binary to decimal, you know, we start out by going binary to decimal, and then decimal to hex. And uh, for this one here, hex to binary, we do um, hex to decimal.
Okay. <clears throat> no, this is not right. It's hex to decimal. And then it's decimal divider. Okay, so uh, that should take care of it. First, we we get a number, an argument in, and, and it's a hex number. So first, we're going to convert that to decimal, and then after that, we're going to convert the decimal number to binary. So so we're going to take advantage of these. And so let's make sure that we've named these binary to decimal, decimal to hex. We've got a decimal to binary, a binary to decimal. We've got a decimal to hex, and we've got a hex to decimal. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to save this and try it. So I've saved it, and let me refresh this, and I'm going to clear it, and let me do one. Oh, one sixty-five to binary to decimal to hex to decimal. Looks like it works. Okay, great. Thanks for watching.